peace infinite waters diving deep once again we're here in nature you should lose that the mask okay can i get a hello there things to drop to be happy i received a great question from someone asking why do i have to become the greatest version of myself when I'm already great? And that's a good question. I say that we are already great, but at the same time, so many of us have become disconnected from our true power and we're finding our way back home. In our natural state, we are perfect. But a lot of us, we've taken on society's expectations, expectations, from ourselves. So for me, becoming your greatest version is realizing that we're not finished. I'm nowhere near finished. The mind is the software. Therefore, that means that we can always be upgraded and updated. And what's helped me along my journey is realizing it's all about letting go, dropping, losing to become who you came here to be. So what I do is that, let's start with the identity. There is how we see the world, what we think the world is, how we see ourselves and who we really are. When I ask you, who are you? You tell me your name. My name is da 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 da. I work here, but that's just the description. That's not who you really are. Underneath all of it, we are energy. So it's about letting go of the labels. That's what I've seen to be happy. And I say happiness is health. It is that perfect equilibrium. We don't have to be perfect. That's why it is so liberating for me just to drop all of it. Don't have any expectations of what I'm going to do next. I might just scare you. Because letting go of perfection is where perfection begins. It starts with the mindset we have. When we are striving, I always say, you're either surviving or thriving. When you're thriving, you keep the bloopers in because it's all part of who you are. You're not trying to impress anybody because it's only about how you see yourself. That is the greatest, most important thing. The perception you have of yourself. What I drop is working somewhere which is not serving me because I did that back in 2011. The best decision I have ever made. Many of us, we say, I want to be happy, but at the same time, everything we are doing is not in alignment to our true desires and goals. So look at it like this. Whatever you are spending the majority of your day doing, you are reinforcing. Instead of complaining where you are, move in the direction you want to be. That's what's helped me along my journey. Let's flip it around. The more you complain about where you are, you miss the opportunity of moving in the direction you want to be. A lot of us, we spend our whole day moaning and complaining. And that's wonderful because it's great to release energy. But at the same time, now, when you are complaining, you get stuck in the mind. It's all a mindset. Change your thoughts and you change your world. 
But if we're just overthinking, overanalyzing, we become fragmented. We become separated from our true desires. So when you say, I want, you're sending a signal to the universe that you don't have what you desire, therefore you will always remain in lack. When you say, I have, now you are focusing on the gratitude consciousness. I can't even begin to tell you how my life has changed just by sharing myself with the world. I had to drop limiting belief systems because it's all BS belief systems. How do we do that though? We do it by changing our routine, by moving out of our comfort zone. Because so many of us, including myself, when you get really comfortable, oh, I like how this feels. Even if it's not serving us, it's safe. But that can only take you so far. I say to really be well, we have to see that all of our experiences are helping to shape who we are. More so, we have this story that we are creating about who we are, which forms our identity, your race, your nationality, but if this story is not serving you, it only causes depression. It only causes anxiety. So what I always love to do is to rewrite my story daily. Look, if you're going to write a story, at least make yourself a superhero. <laughs> but a lot of us, we make ourselves the helpless victim. So we externalize our power. What helped me along my journey was dropping the need that I had to be saved. Because when we become the source of our own happiness, we free ourselves. A lot of us, we're looking for love outside of ourselves someone else is going to make me happy. And yes, they can make you happy once you make yourself happy first. When you love yourself 100% first. Because many of us, we neglect ourselves. I had to drop wasting time even on social media because I saw I was neglecting myself and right now it's about self-care more so it's not about waiting I had to drop that completely now we can talk of being passive there's a time to be passive there's also a time to be active, to step into that radical action. And I've seen I am more happier than ever. Look, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to follow your true heart's desire. A lot of us, we're living in the past. We're living in the future, never really in the moment. I had to drop the past and the future. I had to drop the excuses for why I was not living the life I desired. And that's why I am living the life that I desire. I had to drop meaningless conversations. I'm sorry, meaningless friendships what I call surface relationships and form a deeper bond 
with people around me. I had to drop blaming people for where I found myself in life. I had to drop negativity, seeing the bad in people before seeing the good. A lot of us, we love drama, but ah, we have to see that we are a vibrational match. But once you change your frequency, now what you are attracted to also changes. So I say, drop whatever no longer serves you to be happy. More so, step into your true power 100%. We are here, it's just started to rain, but no worries. Infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy.